All right, Megan here with I Run Far, and I'm here with the winner of the 2014 Lake Sonoma 50 Mile. I'm here with Emily Harrison. Congratulations. Thanks, man. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Pretty well. So energy levels are good. My legs are pretty sore now, though. Walking up here was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Having to get up out of the chair that first time. Oh, yeah, that was rough. I was like, oh, I guess I should move now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ran a, a pretty phenomenal course record today. It was 21 plus minutes. Um, did you go out after the course record? Were you, is that what you were hungry for? Uh, well, today actually that was kind of a nice bonus. So I really yeah. just wanted to go out there and compete today. Um, I haven't lined up against a lot of these women and just wanted to see how I stacked up. And over a course that, you know, I haven't run anything of that style before. So new challenges all around. Cool, yeah. cool. So um, from our perspective, from the outside looking in, you were with the other girls for probably like the first third of the race. You're kind of leapfrogging back and forth. And then you sort of broke away, and I don't think you ever saw any of them again. So yeah. talk about those early miles running with these girls. They're, yeah. they're new faces. I'm sure you've been reading about them on the mm -hmm. Internet, but your first time spending time with them. Yeah, um, yeah. we bunched up, me, Stephanie, and um, Jody got together on the road, and then we hit the trail together, and... Um, you know, Stephanie was kind of chatting, and so we, we talked some of those first few, several miles and kept it pretty light, and, um, you know, she's run the course before, so I figured if anything, she, she knows what's going on out there. <laughs> um, so, no, we, we changed leads, you know, the three of us, we kind of switched around during those miles, and, um, yeah, and then I just eventually, someone stopped at an aid station, and I just kind of found the rhythm and just went with it. Yeah, yeah. So do you think that was more um, you sort of staying solid or picking up the pace or them lapsing back a little bit? Do you know how that I'm played out? I'm not sure. Yeah, I felt like I was maintaining, okay. um, just trying to run steady. Um, I don't I don't know, because before that in the downhills, they kind of got me a little bit, and then I kind of catch back all of the climbs. And um, so we were kind of flip-flopping that way. And then I think that section that I found a rhythm on is a little bit, I wouldn't say flat, but not quite so drastic up and down, and okay. I was able just to move. Um, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it was a little bit of both. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, when I watch you race, you have a fairly um, like focused expression. You yeah. kind of have like this focal point that's a little bit in front of you, and yeah. um, you don't have like a you know a, a super you know <laughs> determined or drastic look on your face. But it's definitely like it's not like a Rory Bosio like yeah. smiling and frolicking. Like you kind of get after it. Is that yeah. is that sort of always been your style? Yeah, it has been. Um, you know, I just lining up for these big meets that you're vying for a championship for, and I've just gotten in that mentality. I think I'm just was always competitive too and you know when I line up I line up to to compete well and to run well and um, so yeah I just kind of get into that very like focused mindset and um, yeah that's the game face. Cool. <laughs> so, so talk about this course a little bit I mean you've mm -hmm. been at ultras for about 18 months now um, mm -hmm. you've had some experience with the flat like the flatter more runnable side of ultras you yeah. kind of had your taste of the hill country with Western States last year, mm -hmm. um, but this is kind of your first time, like really nailing a, um, a course with a lot of vertical, more than ten thousand feet yeah. today. So, yeah. talk about how that went down for you. Uh, it went well. I, you know, like came coming in today. I knew nutrition was going to be really important for me because I've tended to bunk in a lot of my ultras, and I think I just I don't eat enough. And so today it was going in like, okay, I have to take care of myself early. I have to get into calories and make sure I'm staying hydrated. Um, to finish this out strong, and I think that worked out pretty well, and cool. the climbs felt strong for the most part, and you know, like I said, it was good for me to practice the descents today, too, because that was kind of hard for me at Western. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, sort of watching how things went with, the, like, the you three girls at the end, um, you never really broke away. Like, in this field, it was just so competitive that there were yeah. girls breathing, I mean, maybe you didn't know it, but there were girls breathing down your throat that if you took a misstep, yeah. they... I mean, they were there and ready yeah. to pounce, so <laughs> right. was that on your mind, or were you just trying to stay focused on your own thing? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to stay within my own comfort zone and my own rhythm and what I knew I could probably handle, um, but I also knew that, you know, if, if I messed up or if I really died hard, that they would be right there to, to pick up the pieces, <laughs> um, so it keeps you motivated. I was definitely thinking about it, and I, I didn't really know how close they were or weren't, um, but just knowing that people were back there, you're like, okay, I've got to keep pushing through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're learning about running on these 
pre-mountainous courses, mm -hmm. are you finding strengths? Are you finding weaknesses? Like, wh where are you finding your strengths to be? Yeah, um, the climbs are, you know, I think one of my strengths. Okay. Um, you know, late in the race, it still gets hard. I, I still, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, this is they seem to get struggling. Deeper. Yeah, exactly. Like, how is this bunny hill all of a sudden <laughs> the mountain? Um, so, but I think, you know, throughout, that's probably one of my strengths. Um, the downhill running is something I'm still working on and trying okay. to perfect. So, I'm just... I, I'm not good about letting go and free falling necessarily, so I tend to be a little bit more timid and, you know, putting on the brakes. Yeah, so. uh, like a little self-preservation style. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> if I don't have to fall, I'd rather not fall. So, well, but, um, you are turning your sights to Western States, which has a whole bunch of downhill. Yes, in it. yeah. And um, you finished, I believe, seventh there last year. Mm -hmm. um, are you looking to like really get after those downhills, perfect yeah. your style, maybe finish a little higher this year? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to finish higher. That yeah. would be ideal. So um, between now and then, what's what's sort of on your plate training-wise to like bring out the downhilling? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure um, Ian will kind of piece together <laughs> something. But, you know, I'm sure we'll spend a lot of time on the trails more so. And I'll be back at training camp this year. So get to spend some more time on the course, which I think will be good. Cool. Um, yeah, we've been doing, we started doing our Elden climbs and descents um, after comp set. So... That should be good in Flagstaff. So get you know five miles of down straight downhill running on a dirt road, and that might help hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks once more on your you. uh, win and course yeah. record today. Thank we you. look forward to seeing you at Western States in just a couple months. I know it's going to be here before I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, bonus question for you. Okay, Flagstaff. <laughs> So becoming the new boulder. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> We're getting some um, people trickling in here this year, so we'll see like what fast happens. Fast people trickling in. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not just like everybody coming, it's the fast people. It's the fast people, yeah. You can just call up anyone and hey, you wanna go for a run? And get hammered. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's where you gotta pick and choose, you know, what days you run with people because you don't need to run hard every day. <laughs> well but, cool. Congrats yeah. again. Thank you.